Good morning, Jill Lindholm here, licensed alcohol and drug counselor. It is February 7th, Sunday morning. Good morning, everybody. And I just got done with blog 39. Uh, the topic on that was links between addiction, mental health, and suicide. That was part one. And now I'm going into blog 40 with this one. Blog 40 is warning signs of suicide and addiction and recovery. So I'll call this part two. <coughs> Excuse me. And you'll see the picture that I chose for this one, I think is quite fitting. This beautiful wolf and the saying right there says, Behind every beautiful thing, there's some kind of pain. And that was written by Bob Dylan. I want you guys to remember that pain is growth. But before I go on any further with that, let me touch base on warning signs of suicide and addiction recovery. All addicts in recovery deal with the above situations in some degree that we mentioned before, suicidal thoughts and stressors, and some people are better equipped to deal with them than others. For those that seem to be having a harder time dealing with these circumstances, it is important to know and be able to recognize the warning signs of a person with suicidal thoughts in order to get them the help that they need. Keep an eye out for the following behaviors. Now, this is what you're going to want to watch out for. Spending as much time alone as possible. Loss of interest in hobbies or activities that normally find enjoyable. Episodes of intense emotion, such as sadness or anger. Being reckless. Reckless behaviors such as driving too fast, showing off with dangerous pranks, different things, talking about suicide and death, a sudden or irregular switch in mood after a period of depression. In some cases, once they have made their decision to end their life, they feel as though a weight has been lifted and a solution has been found, allowing them to appear much happier than normal. Watch for being impulsive. Addicts have problems with this anyway or rather not taking time to think about the bigger picture or what their actions could mean for their future. Saying goodbye to people with a final tone to it as though they would never ever meet again. Lack of focus and concentration and pessimism about the future even when positive opportunities arise. So please, if you or someone you know are dealing with addiction, depression, and or suicidal thoughts, it's imp very important to seek professional help immediately from someone like myself or a mental health expert. Um, the mental health clinic that I work for here up north, we have a walk-in clinic that uh, runs seven days a week. We've got beeper service. We've got transportation service. We try to really reach out and be available for the community so please look at resources for stuff like that but those are the signs and symptoms to watch out for and looking at this picture once again on the computer behind every beautiful thing there's some kind of pain you think about that and uh, that's one of the big things a very common denominator there when it comes to addiction and it comes to suicide is that there is some sort of feeling involved some sort of pain that's involved once again when you want to use as an addict usually it's to get rid of a feeling sometimes it's an uncomfortable painful type of feeling that you could have emotionally or even physically it can touch you spiritually and of course it touches you mentally but I want you to think about those things because they're very important that's what leads a person to addiction and that's why they use because they don't want to have to deal with those feelings and sometimes they get so wrapped up in what's going on you add the chemical besides which then changes how their mind is reacting, how they're thinking. They can't think rationally. And there are times when people end up taking their lives because of that. You can try to talk someone into trying to 
you know, see things in a brighter light, in a better way. But sometimes you, it's like talking to a wall or you can turn into a smurf because you've talked until you're blue in the face. If you have someone that is a chronic addict or someone that's an addict, an active addict, and they're feeling that way, it just doubles it because sometimes you just can't talk them out of anything no matter what. And please, please, please don't leave those people alone. Call law enforcement, call 911, call your local mental health facility to try to see what you can do. Look in the phone books, go online, you'll find uh, crisis numbers that you can utilize for that. But it's so, so very important to watch these two things because hey, there's no coming back from suicide, bottom line. And you know, it's sad because with with suicide it's just maybe they need someone just to care maybe they need someone to reach out to self-esteem might be so low and so critical they like they said loneliness maybe they're in financial debt um, maybe there's so much money they owe maybe they've lost their job Maybe they're going through a divorce. Maybe they had a miscarriage or lost a child. There's just so, so many factors that tie in with this theory that you need to watch out for. And it can come on suddenly for some people. Um, and for other people, you know, if they've got an underlying mental health addiction, like I talked about in Blog 39, um, this can be reoccurring if they aren't taking their medications like they should because they'd rather use than take their medications that can become a problem or worse still they are taking their psychotropic medications for example plus using chemicals which doesn't make matters any easier to so I just really wanted to bring this into the light today because it is a very serious thing I wanted to give you some warning signs to watch out for for your, your loved ones or yourself and once again, I'm just pleading with you that if you ever get to this point or know someone that is getting to this point, please help them seek some sort of uh, professional help. Because we're only given one life and it was not meant to be taken by our hand. We're here for a purpose and we all have a journey. And with that, I will close for this morning blog 40 on warning signs of suicide in addiction and recovery part two counselor out jill